What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Subi Shades video with me on a beautiful day. Can I get a hashtag team all blade? Hashtag no blade left behind guys. Squad goals coming through. Doing it for the team. Thank you so much for being here Subi Squad. I can't tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you for clicking into my video here and for being here guys. If you're brand new to the channel guys go below hit that sub thumb button for me. Hit the sub button and let's get this thing going a little bit further. Thank you guys for all the people returning. I can't tell you how much fun it's been doing this Lather Games, guys. We are on day 27 of the Lather Games, guys. So today, I hope you got yourself a nice hot cup of joe and a comfy chair. It's a Monday. We're getting this grind done. We're doing it Subi style. Today, we're going to hack and it's going to be a fun hack, guys. We had to start things off today with a little knee lathering based on what the Lather Games challenge was. So this was a knee lathering situation. So I'm not going to be dangling lather, but this is kind of what I ended up with as a result. And you guys can see here, we've got plenty of lather for a shave, guys. Plenty of lather for a shave. And you're going to be asking yourself, what's today's lather? Subi, what are we doing? Today we're rocking the A&E. This is vanilla and tabac, guys. Fantastic soap from A&E. Love this soap. And it's a beautiful mixture of, you know, tobacco and vanilla and cinnamon. It is an ode and tribute. It is an homage, right? You could say to Tom Ford's. And guys, I really love this scent from a &E. Fabulous scent. We're pairing that with Vanilla Vendetta on top, as well as the EDT, guys. Today's an A&E straight up day. I'm telling you, if I have to lather off my knee, guys, I want to use something that is easy to work with and smells fantastic, right? Now, my knee will smell just as good as my head. Right here, guys, Vanilla Vendetta and the splash going on top. We are going to be using, again, this is a Mojo brush. I forgot to mention this. And it is the Kichua edition, guys. Really pretty brush. And let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Let's review, guys. I know you're all here for one thing. The Focus Dynamic Evo 48, guys. This is an Italian made razor out of uh, aluminum, right? It is, they take a, a solid block of aluminum and they create this razor. Really pretty, the parts work flawlessly together, guys. But this is a razor that usually takes a half DE razor blade. Today I said to myself, we haven't been doing a lot of Subi hacks. Let's get a hack in here. Let's get an injector blade loaded into the Focus Dynamic and show how it shaves. Keep in mind, the new version uses a different pin system than the old version. They're a little smaller on the pins and they're a little further apart. And because of that, we're able to put an injector blade in it. Now the Focus R50, that does not work. So this one right here, the 48 guys, is what you need to make this happen. And it loads right in there, nice and tight. Watch this, you guys ready for this? Make sure I'm out there going the right way. Not coming off, not going anywhere, and it stays in there nice and tight. Injector blades are about two times thicker than a DE blade. And because of that, guys, we can utilize that thickness to get unilateral distribution through the head cap, right? It's not a curve like this. It's getting unilateral distribution. It's going to increase the thickness and rigidity of the blade, and it's going to decrease the amount of chatter that you get with this razor. It's also going to make it, I don't know, just really easy to do. You don't have to cut any DE blades. You don't have to snap any DE blades. You just grab your injector blade and load it and shave. Today, I've never done this, guys. This is the first maiden voyage on the head. I did a body shave that was phenomenal. It is efficient, and it does definitely have a little bit more fill than standard DE blades because you're not getting that wobble, the flex that the DE blade provides. But guys, I'm telling you right here, let me show you. Let me not tell you. Let me show you. It's an awesome razor. It is 70 bucks, guys. Look at that. Look at that first swipe. See how sexy that first swipe was? Guys, you see this? Look at that. The lather channels are a bit small, but they did increase the size of them on the new model. A lot of the things that people complained about, they listened to, and they changed. Guys, I really love this razor. The 48, man, the Evo is just not getting enough talk. So I'm doing it here today because I really would love to see more people picking it up. It is like 70 bucks, and you get a razor that is efficient, that pivots, that's light, and it is very easy to get around little areas like that, guys. Very easy. And we're getting a smooth shave. We're using the Schick Yellow Packaged Razors, guys. These are yellow packaged. You can get them on Amazon. I call them the Chicks, right? Little tiny yellow Chicks. What it look? I call them Chicks. Um, other people call them like the um, Chinese. The Chinese um, Chicks, guys. They are off Amazon. They are about a dollar a blade. But you guys got to keep in mind, these blades are what I call forever blades. I get about 15 to 20 shaves per blade before I bend them, right? So that's really, really decent. And when you do the run rate on that, it's actually pretty cheap. You do pay up front though. You do have to pay up front as far as how much it costs. 
Really nice shaver, really nice blades. And today, guys, we are loading it up with injectors. And I just love that. I love that so much. I love how efficient that is. I love how smooth it is. It definitely has like a different skin feel. It's not the same skin feel. I would say it's actually more mild on the skin. But as far as like the uh, nick ability, it goes up. It's weird. It definitely is more likely to nick you if you press because you're not getting the flex, like a lot of pressing. It does do well with some pressing, guys. Keep in mind, this is a razor that does well with some pressing. But take a look at this. This is crazy. This is wild. Look at the efficiency we're getting here. And it's so darn smooth, guys. It is smooth. Oh, 2021, 20, 22, 23. You know how we're going to be doing it, man, going forward. This right here is a razor of razors. I'm so glad they released this. I'm so glad they listened to the community and said, Oh, they want a little bit larger head cap. They want a different angle. They want a different lather channel. They want et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Done. I really think this is an awesome, awesome shape. Wow, guys. It's so smooth. I would say this is, it's way smoother than a DE blade. And I hate saying that because I typically believe they're about the same. But in this situation, guys, with this razor and that of exposure and everything, I'm getting so much efficiency and it is night and day difference on smoothness so sweet so smooth and i really i'm not having any kind of issues with the blades you know having to be loaded a certain way that it was easy to load it was fast to load and look at this guys look watch look how fast we're able to go here with the r48 or the 50 excuse me or, or no the um i'm right the 48 evo look at what we're doing with this evo guys look at this we're getting in there we're doing around the ears because this for me is a hard spot usually guys this is a hard spot for me usually Right with like the leaf, the leaf for me is just a little bit big, so getting it right here is really tough. With this razor, no problems whatsoever. Really nice. I love how that shaves, guys, with the injector blade. And the injector blade, you saw, loaded right in. And the injector blade also doesn't have a curve, so it's not going to scratch the base plate up. Keep in mind, when you do load these up with a DE blade, with the way that they are intended to be loaded, guys, the DE blades have sharp little wings, right? The little little um, uh, backsides are going to be sharp, and they do tend to scratch up the base plate. On my 50 guys, on my R50 um, stainless steel razor, there are scratch marks from sliding that base plate with the DE blade that has been cut, or I mean snapped, that is um, sharp. So this is not going to scratch up your razor. This is going to keep the razor nice and efficient. And it's also going to keep it the same, right? You're not going to ever have a shave, guys, that differs. You're going to have a shave that is exactly unilateral every single time. It's going to be consistent for you. I think consistency when shaving is a good thing, right? I like that. And I love this, guys. I love that. We are almost BBS perfectly. We're doing the full three pass. I still believe that this is a three pass razor. I know there's a lot of people out there that said, oh, it's really, 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 really wildly aggressive. For me, guys, especially with this um, injector blade hack, it's not wildly aggressive. It really is not. I would say it's more medium aggressive with a really, really, really good fill. Really, really decent skin fill here, guys. Really nice. I mean, that is amazing. Loving it. Whoa, oh, right there is the shave, guys. That, whoo, that's glass. I love that razor. I can't get enough of it. I don't care. I know it's Italian, and I know a lot of people have, they flinch when they see this razor. They're like, oh, I had bad shaves. The first one beat me up. I hated the first one. Guys, I'm with you. The first one was a little fiddly and a little annoying. I agree. But they've changed it. They've gone in. They've improved it. It is a better razor. It is a, a more effective razor. It is a more comfortable razor. And it's an easy razor to load up with an injector blade. Guys, you see this? First time ever on the Sui Shaves video, guys, on the, on the channel. First ever BBS shave with an injector blade in the Focus Dynamic. And I am thrilled. That was a zero nicks, zero irritation, zero cuts. Wow, guys, it is smooth. That is the shave, man. That is the, this is what gets me up in the morning. This is why I start my day off so happy and so enthusiastic and excited because this is the kind of shave we look forward to, guys. Right there where you can like rub the skin all day long but never have stubble touch it, right? Oh, this is fantastic. Really beautiful shave, guys. Beautiful shave. Oh, I love that thing. Seriously, so good, guys. There is no subian around here. That is phenomenal. It was a fast shave, guys. How fast was that? That's like, we blew through that shave, guys. And wow, what a quality, comfortable BBS shave we got. 
Dang! Seriously, if you're looking for a dynamic pivoting headed razor, guys, and you're like, ah, I have injector blades at the wazoo, out the wazoo and kazoo, and I'd like a way to be able to use two different blades, right? This does DE blades and injector blades now, as proven and shown. Are they going to admit this and say it on their website, oh, Subi showed us you can use injector? No, I don't think so. I think they're definitely going to say, don't do this. But I really like the shape I just got. Guys, no problems, no issues. And you saw me, I hand loaded it, right? I slid the blade in and I hand loaded it. So it has pressure, but not like a ton. It is definitely doable. Really good shape, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow. I keep rubbing my head on my center. I'm like, dang, man, that is. That is a smooth little shaver. Fantastic. And Vanilla Vendetta just pairs so good with this kind of shave, guys. Where you're BBS and you're so close and you just want to smell amazing. It smells amazing. a &E, man. Good old Peter makes some stuff that is just kill. Oh, this is my scent, man. I love it. Vanilla Vendetta. One of my top three, four favorite, uh, favorite smells ever. Right here. I always tell people it smells kind of like a like Tom Ford got ripped off. Because it smells like, like if Tom Ford has secret scent, that would be it. Absolute banger. What a shave. What an awesome little razor right here, guys. Honestly, loving this. This is phenomenal. I will catch you guys in the next Subi Shaves video. Hopefully you like this. Let me know in the comments below. Subs out.